Welcome to Dave's Minecraft Storage Solutions. Today we're putting together the Silent Dropper Elevator, and you can find what you need in this bits box. But if you don't have a bits box, the items can be found on screen and down below in the description. We're going to start with a 2x5 area, and the dropper can be placed on either side, it just would have to be reversed to be on the right. We're going to do this from the left, and we're going to begin by creating a column of droppers just like this shift clicking so that we're not accessing the inventory. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to just pop up here, place a temporary block, break this one and put a hopper facing into here. That one can go now and this will lead into whatever the dropper elevator is leading into, be that a storage system or perhaps you're putting it into a, a, a dropper spitter so that it can go into a water stream. We're going to come down back down to the bottom here and into that bottom dropper we're going to place a hopper facing and then a hopper facing into that one as well. On this lower level we're going to place a building block directly behind the block, uh, the dropper, a comparator set to reverse, another building block with a redstone dust. We don't want to click it, right click it to have the dot. We want that to be directional a building block on the opposite corner here, our repeater, and our redstone dust, making sure that's heading back into the comparator just like that. We're now going to come around this side and we're going to target this top corner with an observer, pop that one down and it's going to be observing this dust. So every time this dust lights up, this observer is going to be firing. We're then going to shift click on that again and target the top of the redstone dust just like that. On top of these observers, we're going to want to put rails coming around this side, targeting the side of this rail here. Oh, not like that. I have a diamond pickaxe here just in case of such emergencies. And we're going to want to have that facing again so that it's detecting the rail. We can hop up here. We can pop a, another observer facing into there. After that, it gets a little tricky because we're going to be a little too high just to be off to the side. So you could use a building material here to get that um, that edge that you need. Otherwise, scaffolding works just as well. An observer like this and another observer like this. Two more um, powered rails, that's what they're called. And your final observer facing into the top of the powered rails. This dropper elevator is now all complete and if I take these five scaffolding that I've got and I throw them into this hopper, they're going to drain out, they're gone and you'll find if we jump up here, they're all up here, no noise heard. I certainly hope that you found this tutorial useful. Do stop by the channel, hit subscribe if you haven't already, hit a like if this has helped you. And come and follow me on the Mindsomnia server where this is all a part of the Dave Storage Solutions factory build. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.